Hey guys, Sam here from Speedline Technology and today I'm going to be doing a review on my wireless FM stereo transmitter. So let's get into this. So to start off, a wireless FM transmitter is a device which you can simply plug into any MP3 player, computer, phone, etc. that has a 3.5mm out to jack and then you can transfer the audio coming out of it to an FM device like a radio. So I'm going to be demonstrating this and giving a review on what I think about this. So if you don't want to use it in the car, well you can still use it in the car, just you can put batteries in the back, but if you don't want to put batteries in and you're mainly using it for the car, you can just Instead of wasting your money on batteries, use the lead that comes with this, which you plug in the bottom, and then you plug the other end into your car cigarette lighter, and it will work that way. So on the front, there's a few buttons. There's an on button, which you hold to turn on. No, actually, you just press it. You hold to turn off, and then up and down. When you first run it, it'll ask you to set the times. You can set it probably as well by holding down the set button. Yep, and then set this, and then go across but you can read that in the instruction manual it looks like it tells you the temperature as well and it tells you a battery so you can all, this lasts quite a while with the batteries I'm using I'm not sure what they are so on the front there's different settings and I don't know what these actually do when you aren't on so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this in to my phone and now I want to transmit this to this retro radio I have right here. So if we move this to the side, my phone, and I put that there. If I press the on button again, it will, let me show this a bit closer. It shows up with, I don't know if you can see, but it shows up with 87.5 FM. And to change this, you can, uh, yeah, press the up and down buttons to change it. So if I put it, if I hold this down and take it all the way up to just a thousand, I should be able to connect to it to this radio, from this radio. So nearly there, and boom, I'm there. Well, it says a hundred point zero, not ten thousand, not, it won't even be that, it'll be a thousand. So if I plug it into my phone, and now I've got my phone on three volume bars, and if I click play, on this audio clip which is just free music, royalty free music from Kevin MacLeod on Incomputech and move this to the side and bring my radio forward this is just a retro radio which I yet to review so I'm going to switch this on like that and sometime soon it should transmit I should be able to hear this Ah, I had to turn it up on my phone. And now if I turn it up here, you can hear the audio, and this is coming out the radio. So I'll take this away, a minute. So I just put that on my windowsill, and it's coming out this radio, definitely. And really good quality. It can only go a few meters, but still, it's really handy. Um, you can also use it to say, say somebody's part of radio... Um, a radio station on in the car that you don't want to listen to you can block them out with this by changing the frequency to that radio station if it's not digital, if it's FM and they'll be like, and they'll just think what happened to the radio, why has it gone off because they won't know a thing but here's the device back just turn off the music here we go so um I think this was about £7 when I bought it, and I've had this for about two years now. Um, but I think it's around £5 to buy nowadays, and $5 as well, as well. So, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. So thanks for watching, and goodbye. Want the latest tech news, reviews, and tutorials? Check out www.speedlighttech.co.uk for more.